since there is so much danger regarding journalists in Mexico and you were covering journalists, did you as the filmmaker face any tense or dangerous situations while you were filming? Um, while we were filming, uh, Adela Navarro, who's the co-director of the newspaper we profile, she received, uh, she received a threat um, uh, ostensibly, we believe it's from what's, what remains of the Arellano Felix uh, cartel, the organization, um, which was one, at one point the most powerful cartel in Tijuana. Um, and um, we were aware of um, other threats w with the journalists. We were very lucky in that we never received threats. Um, you know, I, as, as a person who's based in the United States, I always have the ad advantage of just flying, leaving, you know, going to LA or going to New York. Um, and, um, and we weren't shooting consecutively for, you know, months at a time. And it was, the way I worked was pretty targeted. I'd go, um, you know, we'd go fly from New York to LA and then drive into Tijuana, which is very easy to do, and work for, you know, 10 days, two weeks. Um, there were kind of short bursts. Um, often t uh, we did a lot of shooting in the city of Mexicali. So we ourselves never received threats. I think part of that too is that we were a very low key crew. I mean, at our biggest, we were four people. Um, so we were working in a very kind of minimal way. What we were, what I was concerned about was the, um, the impact of the film. So we released the film in Mexico. Um, you know, it, it screened in 13 cities. Um, I was more worried about the potential blowback from, from press uh, and would that put the journalists uh, in, in harm's way. Um, and we obviously had those conversations with the journalists while we were, while we were filming. So speaking of having your, your film premiere in Ambulante, um, at Ambulante in Mexico, what was that like? Um, um, the reception in Mexico was very surprising to me. I was, I was very, very worried about how the film would be seen in Mexico. Um, I was worried that um, audiences would see it as a kind of outsider's perspective and that, uh, you know, that there would be a lot of political criticism of the film. And, um, you know, to the contrary, um, we screened in 13 cities in Mexico. The film also screened in El Salvador. Um, we, I mean, we, we packed like the majority of our screenings. I, I attended three big screenings in Tijuana, Mexico City. Um, we screened in Mexicali as well. And um, audiences were actually really, uh, really responsive. In Tijuana especially, people were very happy that um, People knew parts of the story, but they were they were really happy that someone had put together a kind of comprehensive um, history of this newspaper and of, 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 of these journalists. So they were they were they were very pleased about that. There's a story that I tell that um, you know that really had an impact on me. A woman came up to me after a screening, and she had been washing uh, dishes in her home on the day that the founder of the newspaper had been attacked. He was basically attacked by mm -hmm. ten armed gunmen, um, and uh, she had been washing the dishes when she heard the volley of, of shots being fired. And she stopped washing her dishes for a minute and then just continued washing dishes because she was so sick of the violence that she just didn't want to know who had been attacked, what the situation was. She didn't want to know anything about it. She just continued washing her dishes. And Reportero was the first time she uh, had found out the details about what had happened on that day. So the founder of the newspaper had been attacked just a few blocks from her, for her home. She didn't know any of the details until she watched the film. So it's this curious thing that you know, this Tijuana resident was made aware of uh, details of a story that was a kind of local story for her because this foreign filmmaker had come you know, and, and uh, made a film about, about her city. So there's, you know, there's a kind of, there are satisfying things that happen like that with a film where you're able to connect with people uh, about their, their local stories.